Hello and welcome to another bike and another restoration. I get asked a lot, where do I find these bikes from? This one was quite an interesting story. I'd been out cycling, I was dressed in Lycra and in the traffic, a couple of cars ahead, there was a van on its way to the scrapyard. I'd seen this bike on top of all the metal and I'd just seen basically the small little green flashes which give the bike away and I thought I need to pursue that bike and save it from going to the scrap heap. Um, we've pulled up with some red lights, I had a chat with the driver and uh, basically I've they obtain the bike uh, from there. So that's how I actually got this one. So all I would say to anyone is, if you want a bike to restore, just keep your eyes peeled and look here, there and everywhere. These bikes really are worth saving. It's a lovely bike this, but we'll get onto that in a minute. First of all, who's Carlton? Well, Carlton is a company which was based in the UK in England here. And it started with a gentleman called Fred Hanstock in 1898, would you believe it? Uh, the company started in Nottinghamshire in a small village called, wait for it, uh, Carlton in Limerick, hence the name Carlton. A gentleman called Dan O'Donovan actually started at the company and he was an extremely good salesman and took the company uh, to success and later took over the company. In the 1960s, the Rally brand, Rally, uh, actually took over the company. So they took a big interest in the Carlton name, took the company over, but continued to build bikes under the Carlton name until the mid 1980s. Which I think brings us on to our bike here. Uh, it ranges probably around the mid 80s, so it's probably a, a later uh, model of the, the Carlton range. But it's got Reynolds 501 tubing. It reminds me very much of the Rally Sirocco by that they did because it had a mixed group set on there. So at the front here, we've got Shimano Gold Arrow, which were, later became the 105 uh, group set. So it's got a Gold Arrow front mech, uh, front gear levers, uh, but the rest of the group set is uh, Wyman brakes, etc. So it's a, it's a mixed group basically, and that's exactly how the Sirocco was. So our bike here, well the saddle, that's going to need to replace and I do have a lovely saddle available to us in uh, regards to that. The front end here we've got some Shimano X-Age levers which are not original uh, so I may be looking at changing them back to take the back back more to original state. Um, yeah the frame itself, lovely dropouts on the rear here. So it's got Wyman uh, brake calipers. I don't know at all how this bike runs. This is exactly how I got it from the gentleman on the van. So before we do anything, as we generally always do, let's get this bike stripped down. I'm gonna take it from there. Okay, brilliant, well there's the bike all stripped down. It's been no hassle at all, up until this bottom bracket and also the pedal arm. The pedal arm, the thread had gone and basically been stripped and I was really struggling to get the tooling uh, into the actual pedal arm to extract it. And I put it back onto the stand itself to go and get some tools and would you believe it, it was very amusing, I thought so anyway. The actual pedal arm just fell off the spindle, so that was a relief. And the other one was this cup on this drive side. I had to get the tool in the vise. I've given this tip before. Put the tool in the vise to actually put the uh, cup in and then you can get the leverage on there because it was very stiff. It's been in there since the bike was built, which was some time ago. Um, so yes, it's all stripped down now. We've got a bucket down here with all the parts in which needs a good cleaning. So let's get a move on with that and give this bike some special loving. So far what we've done is just rubbed down the frame with a T-cut solution. If you're unaware of what that is, it's just a product for the car industry, for the paint, it brings up these frames really well. We use this a lot in these videos if you're unaware. Um, so we've done that. What I've also done on this rear stay here, there's quite a bit of chipping from the chain, a little bit of rust. So what I've done is treated the rust with a crust solution which eats away at the rust itself and then I've used a a strip, a chainstay strip, which is a chrome one, very in keeping with this age of uh, bike, 
got it from a company called Velo Bits. It's only a couple of pounds, so very good uh, product to use on these bikes. Um, I've also bought, I uh, managed to get hold of, a new crank set. If you remember, the pedal arm on the crank set, the thread for actually extracting it, had uh, basically perished, come away. Um, so we bought a new can uh, crank set. It's a Gold Arrow one as well. Very good condition indeed. So looking forward to getting this polished up. This uh, really does clean up this uh, Gold Arrow stuff. And I've also got the rear mech as well. If you remember, the, the bike itself came with a front mech and also the levers, but the rear mech was in a bit of a, a bad state. So I've got hold of a Shimano Gold Arrow uh, rear mech. These clean up absolutely beautiful. So looking forward to doing that. And I've also got some Wyman levers. If you remember, it had brand new aero levers which weren't in keeping with the time scale of this bike itself. So I've got some Wyman levers to go with the calipers. Um, so it's exactly the same spec as the Rally Sirocco now with the Reynolds 501 uh, full uh, Shimano uh, gold arrow running gear but with the Wyman brakes. Um, <clears throat> one little last item I did manage to get hold of as well. These are getting extremely hard to uh, obtain, which is the uh, vintage uh, shiny bar tape. It's in the pearl white as well. Uh, just feel as though it'll set it off really good. So I'm looking forward to getting the handlebars taped up. Uh, we have polished some parts already and I've got to order some gun wall tyres for them wheels. So let's get a move on. We've cleaned these parts up. We're nearly there now and uh, we should be getting ready for the assembly soon. So let's get a move on with that. final stage of the restoration which is the rebuild. I feel that like this is the best part of the project, this is where you see all your hard work come together and you see the bike in its full glory. So where are we up to? We've got all the gear ready to go, ready to be assembled, it's all on the side there as we generally do. The Gold Arrow group set is absolutely blinging, it's stunning, come out really well. If you do want some more information on polishing metal, then there is a, a video that I've done which is available to watch, which gives you more details on actually polishing metal. Uh, but yes, this group set is stunning and I cannot wait to get it back on the bike. Uh, I did say that we had a lovely saddle. We've got a San Marco Rolls saddle, it's actually in black. So this is an upgrade in itself. Uh, so yes, that's there. We've got some aero pedals and we've also got some gun wall tyres on the wheels ready to go. So without further ado, let's get this bike back together and back on the road. Well, can you believe that this bike was actually on its way to the tip? It's another bike saved and uh, yes, it's good for a good few years yet uh, to enjoy and uh, to ride. So yes, really, really happy that we've managed to save this bike. Uh, it was a great opportunity, I say it was on the back of the van there. It was actually on its way and what a lovely bike to start any sort of project regards to doing these restorations. It doesn't have to always be high level. The enjoyment is at every level and uh, yes, what a lovely piece and a uh, great bike. Really happy with this. So the Gold Arrow really does set it off and the Chrome stay at the back as well. That was a great solution. Uh, so really happy. If you do watch these videos, generally finish off uh, the actual build with a water bottle. We've still got the ride, so hold on for that. Uh, but yes, uh, regards to the water bottle, I've got one just here. Uh, very vintage, very retro and in keeping with the bike itself. Plain wide to feel and uh, yes, let's have a look. Fantastic. Well, it really sets the bike off. All that's left to do now is get the bike out and try it out. I cannot wait. Well, 
Wow, well, what a ride and what a transformation. To think that this bike was actually only moments away from being scrapped. It was on the back of the van, if you remember. It was only down to the green flash on the forks that caught my eye and I thought I'd have a chat and that's how we obtained the bike. So yes, extremely happy that we've managed to save this bike. It really isn't about how expensive these bikes are. It's more about preserving them and actually bringing them back to life. Uh, it really is a beautiful thing. It's not the most expensive bike, but it really is a beautiful thing. And I'm really happy that we've managed to do it. It really does give me a lot of joy to do so. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out, I'm really happy that we've uh, got hold of the crank set and the rear derailleur. It really does complete the bike. And uh, yes, the roll saddle was an upgrade, but I just couldn't resist. So yes, what a great result it's been. If you do enjoy watching these videos and you're not a subscriber, as I generally always say, then please subscribe, it's completely free of charge. Other than that then, thanks for watching and bye for now.